Welcome! The purpose of this video is to show you how to get your product catalog set up in Cellbrite. Your product catalog is the most important part of your Cellbrite service. It is the starting point for creating new listings on your sales channels, managing inventory, and of course, adding any new products that you want to sell in the future. Before we get started, however, I want to point you to the Help Center. Go ahead and open the Help Center in another tab, as it's super handy to have available to you while you're getting things going. In the Help Center, take some time and read through the Getting Started section. It won't take long, but it will give you the foundation to get the most out of your free trial. If you ever get stuck, you can also search any topic by keyword, like FBA. Now, back to the product catalog. To build your product catalog, you essentially have three options. First, you can add products to your catalog one by one by choosing the Add Product button. This option is generally best for adding new items as you receive them in the future though, and not ideal for your initial setup if you already have a lot of products available for sale. The second option is to add products in bulk using the Product CSV template. The Product CSV is pretty simple to fill out and there are example products on the blank template for you to look at, both for single products, as well as for products with variations like size and color. To access the product CSV, go to the Import Data page, and then Products. In this page, you can download the blank template. Note, you can also access this page by clicking on Settings, and then Import Data. Third, and most conveniently, Cellbrite can build your product catalog from the listings you already have on your sales channel. To do this, you'll also want to be on the import data page, but instead of products, you'll want to choose listings. Cellbrite will import your listings into the channels tab, and then use those listings to build products inside the products tab. Of course, to go this route, we first have to connect our sales channels. To connect a channel, go to your channels, and then choose the sales channel from which you want to import. If you have more than one sales channel currently, you'll want to start with the channel where you have the most number of products. A quick word about importing data from your channels. All things being equal, it's best to get started from an e-commerce platform, like Shopify or BigCommerce. The reason is, Cellbrite will be able to import all of your data from your own e-commerce store, including images, descriptions, variations, etc. eBay is second best because Cellbrite can get all of your data from there as well. Although eBay has a bunch of other stuff along with it, like really long custom coded descriptions, which can sometimes get a little messy. Etsy is not a bad place to start. And while Etsy has no place for a SKU inside each listing, Cellbrite can auto-generate SKUs for you to build your products. And Amazon is probably the last choice because Cellbrite will only be able to get one image and only the descriptions that were written by you. Other images, as well as any descriptions written by Amazon or by another merchant, are technically copyrighted data, and Amazon will not send it to a third-party service like Cellbrite. Some other solutions may claim to be able to retrieve this data, but if so, they are performing what is called scraping, which is a violation of Amazon's policy and can put your account in jeopardy. Please don't do that. If you are an Amazon-only seller moving to other channels, it's important to look at this as a great opportunity for you to begin collecting and managing your own product data file for the items you sell. Cellbrite can be that place for collecting your data. Proper data management is an essential part of selling online across channels, especially if you want to build your own e-commerce store, which we here at Cellbrite highly encourage you to do as part of your overall e-commerce strategy. Okay, with all of that out of the way, once you've chosen from which channel to start your first import, and we're going to start here with eBay, go ahead and find the Add New Account button within that channel. Getting started involves a simple authorization process and takes just seconds. 
If you join Cellbrite from an app store like BigCommerce, Shopify, or Magento, your channel will already be connected, and we will have already begun your import automatically. So the next step will not apply to you. Once your channel is connected, you'll want to go back to the import data page. Under Import Listings, find the primary channel you just connected. On the import page, you'll want to choose the option to automatically build products for your listings. You will also see the option here to not build products and simply import your listings, but since this is your initial import from your primary channel, we want to build products. We'll address when to use the other option in a little bit. Your import will begin running. In most cases, it will finish in just a few minutes, and some channels are faster than others. If you have thousands of listings, it could take a little longer for Cellbrite to bring them all in and build products out of them. The process involves multiple requests from the sales channel, so just be patient. You'll be notified as soon as the listing import is complete, both by email as well as an in-app notification on the top right of your screen. Once it's finished, you'll see your products inside the Products tab. You'll also see that they are listed on the channel from which you imported, which makes sense. If you go back to the Channels tab, you can access the Listing Manager for that particular channel by clicking the Account icon on the left-hand side of the page. Here you'll see your actual listings that were imported, and from here you can manage those listings directly from Cellbrite. Anytime you run a new import in the future, your listings here in the Channels tab will refresh with any new data that you may have added to your sales channel, as well as bring in any new listings that may have been created outside of Cellbrite. You can see that the listings will all show the green link notification, which means they are linked to products in the Products tab. This makes sense, of course, since Cellbrite just built your products out of these very listings. So now we have products in Cellbrite, and listings from your first channel are linked to those products. We'll talk more about the importance of linking in a little bit. But for now, let's address your other sales channel. If you have live listings on another sales channel, let's go and bring those in now. Go back to the Channels tab, choose your second channel, and connect it. If it's another account of the same channel type, like a second eBay account, that's totally fine. Cellbrite can handle as many accounts for each channel as you may have. In our case, we're going to choose Amazon as our second account. When you select Amazon, you'll see a reminder of what Amazon will and will not provide during your import. Once your second channel is connected, you'll want to import the listings again. Go back to Import Data, Listings, and choose that channel. Now we have to make another decision. The listings on this second channel, are they for the same products that were listed on the first channel? If the answer is no, and this channel has completely different products listed on it, then we'll want to automatically build products from them again to get those products into Cellbrite for the first time. If the answer is yes, then we may not want to choose that option. It all depends on whether you use the same SKUs on each channel. If all of this seems a bit overwhelming to process, don't worry. It's actually much simpler than it sounds, and you can read more about it in our Help Center. Let's go there now and open this article. In the Listings section of the Help Center, find Importing Your Existing Listings. This article will help you clarify the scenarios in which to create products automatically or to find and match listings to products. Now, let's start your second import. In my case, I know that most of my SKUs match across all channels, but some of them might not. So rather than selecting the first option to automatically create products, I'm going to play it safe and choose the second option. Because most of my SKUs match, the ones that do will automatically link to the products I've already created. The ones that don't match with any of the products will simply import into the Channels tab and remain there unlinked. You can see now that it really is so much easier if your SKUs match. 
So if you can take the time to edit them in your e-commerce store or on eBay, it will save you time and trouble in the long run. Okay, now our listings are imported from both channels. When I go to the listing manager for my second channel, I can see that most of my listings automatically linked to products, since the SKUs matched the ones I used on my other channel to build my catalog. The ones that didn't match are left here unlinked, which you can see by this red notification icon. Linking your listings to products is a vital part of making Cellbrite work properly. If a listing is not linked to a product, no inventory changes can be synced to it. In addition, when any order is received for one of your listings, the link allows that order to pass through to the Cellbrite product, thus adjusting inventory for that product, so that your new inventory total on that product can sync to any other listings that you may have linked to that product. So think of it like a hub and a spoke. You'll have one product that's linked to many different listings across your various sales channels. The link is super important, and you want to make sure your listings are linked to products before you turn on Inventory Sync and get started with inventory management. So let's link these listings. If you click into a listing title, you can see the unlinked notification at the top of the listing details page. Here, you can choose to find a matching product for that listing. Or if there is no product in Cellbrite, you can create one from the listing right here. I know I have a product for this listing, so I'm going to find and match this one. Cellbrite will search for the product title. If you don't find an immediate match, say for example your product title is different on your other channel, you can edit the search here and try a shorter search query. Once found, choose Select and the listing will link to your product. Now let's look at another one. For this one, let's say that a product cannot be found and I want to create a new one inside Cellbrite. I'll click Create New Product and then be prompted to enter a SKU for this product. It always makes sense to use the SKU from your listing, which will be shown here in bold. If at any point you add a new listing directly on your sales channel outside of Cellbrite, you'll need to run a new import to bring it into Cellbrite. The system does not automatically bring in listings. So ideally, you'll be using Cellbrite moving forward to create your listings on your sales channels. You can see in the Products tab where your products are listed. And you can filter by listed on or not listed on each channel to help you manage your products better. You can also edit the details of each product by clicking into the title. It's important to note that editing the product details at this time, such as name, description, and price from this page, will not automatically update to your listings. This is something we're working on, but as of right now, it isn't how the system behaves. So you'll want to make those changes inside the Channels tab, and we'll cover that in the next video. One thing that does get synchronized to your listings, however, is any change you make to inventory quantity. From your product catalog, you will add and adjust inventory quantities in Cellbrite, and those quantities will then sync out to your listings. So now you've got your listings imported and your product catalog set up. In our next video, we'll provide an overview of managing inventory quantities as well as creating new listings from your Cellbrite products.